Haram violence. He is seeking details about the law and order situation there. So the unrest continues in Sasaram and uh, the Home Minister is now speaking to the Governor about the situation. Going across to my colleague Arunama who has been tracking this story. Arunama, what is the latest update that we are getting on the situation in uh, Bihar and especially in Sasaram? So the situation is volatile and that's why the Home Minister has had to step in. Uh, you know, after Bengal, he's dialed uh, the Governor of Bihar as well. Uh, he's discussed uh, the current law and order situation. Uh, the details that were available with the Governor about the unfolding situation currently uh, were shared uh, with the Home Minister. We were also told that last evening, uh, the Chief Secretary of Bihar on behalf of the administration had also dialed the centre. Uh, he spoke to concerned officers in the Ministry of Home Affairs and said that more assistance uh, is required from centre, more boots on the grounds are needed uh, and that's why the centre has now agreed to send and th these companies have already reached uh, Bihar. Additional companies, we are told, uh, of CRPF have already reached Bihar. They have been deployed. Uh, so when there are more boots on the ground, when they carry out their flag marches, uh, there is a sense of confidence that the peace-loving citizens get uh, that the law and order situation is improving. Uh, rumor mongering also gets controlled and that's the reason why these additional forces are being deployed. And the Home Minister's intervention, uh, his, his uh, you know, talking to the Governor is also expected to send that message that the Centre and the State uh, both are monitoring the situation. Hopefully, uh, the situation will get back to normal soon. At this stage, um, like I said, the situation remains volatile. Stay with us, Arunima. We're also joined by Maria Shakila, political editor. Maria, this will be Home Minister Amit Shah's fourth visit to the state since the ruling JDU snapped ties with the BJP in August. Uh, now, especially with the violence, uh, you, you know, in prominence there, what is the sort of significance, uh, especially with the law and order situation for, and the security provided to the Home Minister in the state? Well, I think the security cover to the Home Minister in the same, but um, but as Arunima was highlighting, uh, he has spoken to uh, Bihar governor and, uh, you know, inquired about the situation which is developing in Sasaram in particular uh, and also in Nalanda district, which is the home district of the chief minister of Bihar, Nitish Kumar. And uh, as, as Arunima highlighted, there will be deployment. In fact, uh, that has already happened of forces on uh, ground. So with extra boots, uh, Perhaps they are hoping that the situation will be under control. But law and order, as has been uh, the case, has been the, the it's a state issue. Um, the state government is responsible for the law and order situation. Uh, how did it go out of hand is perhaps for Nitish Kumar to explain. Uh, but Mr. Shah is on a political trip to Bihar. Uh, he will be addressing um, a, a rally later today around 2 p.m. Um, it becomes important, particularly in the context of how, you know, uh, how, how uh, there has been, uh, you know, breaking of ties between the two sides. And now the BJP, with a new president uh, in, in Samrat Chaudhary, is going all out to come up with its own combination of caste, which will ensure that they would get uh, some seats uh, that they are hopeful of in 2024. Uh, and and uh, because he will be addressing a public gathering in Nevada around uh, 2 p.m., it becomes important as to what Mr. Shah's message, particularly the cadres and the karikatas, will be. Uh, we had last time around in 2019, uh, it, it, uh, uh, it voted for JDU BJP combined, but now it will be BJP which will be fighting separately in the Lok Sabha elections. Uh, and it realizes fully well that Bihar is one state where they have not been able to crack the caste code or caste arithmetic uh, properly. And, and and that's why there has been a lot of interest and push in the state. Maya, I request you to stay with us. Uh, as you're mentioning, the Ministry of Home Affairs has deployed additional companies of CRPF in the state, but the situation continues to remain volatile. Also going across to our colleague Saurabh Rathod, who brings us a ground report on the situation now. Saurabh, what's the update on the situation and is it abating as compared uh, to how it was last night? Uh, yes, indeed. And uh, today I'm in uh, Nalanda district in Bihar Sharif. And uh, uh, there are uh, additional forces which are being deployed here uh, right from morning. Uh, we saw uh, the uh, SP of uh, Nalanda, he uh, gave us a sound bite saying that uh, additional forces are being called up. And uh, now uh, we are learning that nine battalions of uh, paramilitary forces 
uh, are coming to uh, uh, the city here in Bihar Sharif. And uh, in fact, I am seeing that uh, uh, in every nook and corner, there are police officials deployed, central uh, uh, forces are deployed. Uh, and in fact, uh, our anti-riot uh, control unit is uh, um, uh, marching on the streets of Bihar Sharif. So uh, the, the, uh, the administration is taking all its measures uh, preventive measures uh, to control any untoward uh, incident. Uh, but uh, in fact, uh, the fact here is that last night uh, the violence w uh, broke out again uh, in which several rounds of uh, fire was heard in which uh, one person was uh, killed because of the gunshot and several people were injured. Uh, in fact, the policemen uh, in that area uh, in Bihar Sharif uh, were injured also. So uh, now uh, the police, uh, they are taking very strict measures. They are not allowing people to come out of their homes. Uh, in fact, uh, the police are announcing here that uh, because Section 144 is imposed, no one is allowed to assemble anywhere and uh, they are taking the measures right now. Saurabh, a lot of political reactions as well coming in. Let's take a look at that. But first, let's show the viewers the situation check that you sent us from Bihar. This is the second visit of uh, Union Home Minister Amit Shah. Today he has arrived here in Patna. He will go uh, to Hisua where he will address uh, the people uh, over there. Uh, we see Amit Shah, he has been welcomed by his supporters. Although there is a controversy uh, after the cancellation of his visit to Sasaram where the violence broke out on 31st of March and uh, the BJP is claiming that uh, because the section 144 is imposed uh, in uh, Sasaram, uh, they had to cancel Amit Shah's program. The government has uh, started investigating into the matter, but the BJP, they are alleging that it was because of uh, Amit Shah's visit. I will say that the law is in the way that the law is in the way that the law is in the way that the law is in the way. जैसे लालू राज था वैसे जंगल राज तब भी था और अब तेजस्वी यादव और नीतीश कुमार के चलते जो जंगल राज आया है वो तो दुर्भाग्य है कि बिहार एक एक बार फिर खराब परिस्थिति की ओर जा रहा है कोई भी केंद्र के मंत्री आते हैं तो उनके सुरक्षा के लिए नहीं दिया जाता है ये कई फल फालतू बात है ये कोई राज्य सरकार का ऐसा नहीं ये सब कुछ नहीं जब भी आए हैं या जो भी जो केंद्र राज्य सरकार की जिम्मेवारी है वो सब करती है वो सब बात नहीं है अब आप अपने मर्जी से अपना काम करते हैं कोई बात नहीं वो सरकारी चीज तो है नहीं सर कब अपना किए होंगे कोई और कारण होगा ये हमको नहीं पता है आ कहा क्लियर रहे वो जाने आप नहीं आए हैं तो वो जाने लेकिन राज्य सरकार की तरफ से हर तरह का ये रहता है और ये घटना घटी है ये बहुत दुख की बात है और जरूर कोई ना कोई घचपच किया है इधर तो हम लोग तो पूरे तौर पर इन लोगों को कह दिए कि अंदर से पता करिए रोहतास डीएम और एसपी से बात की उन्होंने साफ साफ कह दिया कि धारा 140 कभी लगा ही नहीं वहाँ अरे उनके पुलिस कह रही है ये हम वीडियो जारी कर रहे हैं हमारे पार्टी के ट्विटर हैंडल में आप जाइए आपको स्पष्ट तौर पर दिखेगा कि वहाँ पर पुलिस कह रही है कि वन लगा है मैं नहीं कह रहा हूँ तो पुलिस की बात मानूं कि आपकी बात मानूं वो कह रहे हैं जिला अधिकारी के आदेश अनुसार भारतीय जनता पार्टी के इतने लोकप्रिय नेता आए और भीड़ की चिंता अरे ये नीतीश कुमार थोड़े हैं और भाई करनी चाहिए ना और अड़तालीस घंटे से सरकार क्यों सोई हुई है तुरंत कार्रवाई कीजिए जिनकी भी संलिप्तता है तुरंत कार्रवाई कीजिए नालंदा जल रहा है सासाराम जल रहा है भागलपुर जल रहा है इसके दोषी सिर्फ और सिर्फ नीतीश कुमार हैं 